looking to become the UFC middleweight champion of the world. Here he is, the number one middleweight contender. For a long time, this man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time, and in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. or tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Three years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, presenting the challenger, Hamzat Bors Chibayev. And now introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Paolo the Eraser. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do it the middle. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Good punch. Archer, there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedowns, he was secure. Let's see what he does from this position. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel, right next to his opponent. 
When it's time to finish. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half court. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hook. But get to your hand stand up, fight the hand, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Now into his mouth. Under a minute to go. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the tramp. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Goes upstairs for an elbow. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking all oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Every oh! He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. He's got him hurt here. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's... Oh! He needs to start looking at the... Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Oh, collar tie. Punch coming. It's blocked. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Effective strike there by Costa. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Punch his block. Oh, a single follow time there. Back and forth we go. Again. Back and forth. 
to this position. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Again, he's looking for that left, it's not there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, they'll fix it. There's no takedown throw. If there was a takedown throw, he would not be throwing so many knees. Oh! He's out! He got him! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there he is, our UFC middleweight champion of the world. What an outstanding knockout here to finish the job tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called to stop in this contest at 4 minutes, 43 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by no!